Hey guys, um, hope everyone is doing well. I got something I would like to share with you guys today. Um, so this is an article that I wrote, um, I don't know, a few months back. It is called The Name Above Every Other Name. Um, now at the time, this was when the Lord was first leading me to start doing these videos. Um, but I honestly was too scared to post one because um, I've never done anything like this before. I'm usually a pretty shy person, a pretty quiet person, um, unless I'm around my friends or family. <laughs> but so anyways, I'm just going to just going to read this to you guys because um, it's got some really good stuff in it, some really good verses. And I believe that it may bless somebody. Um, so I'm just going to jump right in. And also, forgive me for this really, like, grainy-looking camera and how awful it sounds. I'm I'm praying and believing that the Lord is going to bless me with a new computer to do this soon or a new webcam. Um, but for now, we are just working with what we've got, and praise the Lord, it's working out pretty good. So, today we are going to talk about the name that is above all other names. Can you guess what that name is? That's right. That name is Jesus Christ. Um, in Hebrew, his name is Yeshua. That is Y-E-S-H-U-A. Yeshua. Um, and that literally means the Lord is our salvation. He is our Savior. Um, this name is so powerful that it cannot be overcome by anyone or anything in heaven, on earth, and in hell. It's a name so mighty that even the darkness trembles at the mention of it. So we're going to look at James 2.19, and it says, You believe that there is one God? Good. Even the demons... Even, sorry. <clears throat> Let me start over. James 2.19. You believe that there is one God? Good. Even the demons believe that and shudder. Luke 10.17 says, In the 22... Ooh, y'all, I'm messing up today. Let me stop and pray real quick. I need some help from the Lord. Lord Jesus, I just pray right now that you please anoint my vessel. Please remove all anxiety and all fear. Let all the striving cease. May the words that I speak be your words only. Please remove any any of my own words from this situation. I only want to speak your words, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so told y'all guys I'm pretty shy. Luke 10, 17 says, And the 72 returned with joy and said, Lord, even the demons submit to us in your name. And James 4, 7 says, Submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. And notice it says he will flee, not he may flee. I know that's kind of off topic, but I just want y'all to know, like, we have kingdom authority. We have authority to trample on the heads of serpents. We are able to tell Satan, Get packing, you know, go. But a lot of Christians, I, I feel like we don't know the authority that we have. And we all too often just let Satan run all over us. I'm sorry, guys, this is not even in my notes. But I just feel the Lord pulling up my heart to say and to let y'all know you have authority. But you must use your mouth. You must speak that authority. And make sure you speak it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. All right, so if we look at Ephesians 1, 19 through 24. Three, we see the might of his holy name. So it says, And what is the immeasurable greatness of his power towards us who believe, according to the working of his great might, that he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion and above every name, that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And he put all things under his feet and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. Like there, there was a, a lot in that. I mean, that, that speaks for itself. Okay, so this name is the name that saves. Guys, salvation is found in Jesus' name alone. I don't care what anybody else has ever told you. I don't care what this world tells you, what self-help books tell you. It's not right 
salvation is only found in Jesus' name alone. Jesus says in John um, 14, 6, Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Acts 4, 12 says, And there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven, given among men, by which we must be saved. All right, and I'm um, sorry, guys, I lost my notes. Okay, and Romans 10, 13 says, For whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. 1 Corinthians six eleven says, And such were some of you, but you were washed, and you were sanctified, and you were justified, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God, which we know is the Holy Spirit. So as you can see by just these few verses in God's Holy Bible, that Jesus' name carries a lot of power. It is so powerful that literally the mention of it, y'all, can break chains, strongholds, can cause miracles, deliverance, healing, like we see with the man in Acts 3.16, it says, and his name, by faith in his name. So let's go, let's let's look at that part for a minute, by faith in his name. So just speak in his name without believing the power behind it, that won't do you any good. Um, you know, a lot of people will speak the name of Jesus. There's even the verse in the Bible where, you know, they're the religious leaders or whoever, they come to Jesus and they say, but Lord, Lord, we cast out demons in your name, and blah, blah, blah. And Jesus says, depart from me. I never knew you. So, you know, we must have faith in the name of Jesus. We must have faith in his salvation. We must believe that we can rest under his wing, you know? Um, but if we don't believe it, then we're just, we're just speaking a name that means nothing. Um, so Acts 3.16, and his name, by faith in his name, has made this man strong, whom you now see and know. And the faith that is through Jesus has given the man this perfect health in the presence of you all. We must believe in the power of this mighty name for it to hold any authority through us. The Bible says in Luke 10.19 that in Jesus' name we are given authority over all all the power of the enemy and can walk among snakes, scorpions, and crush them. Nothing, I mean nothing, will injure us when, when we come in the authority, the name of Jesus Christ. Praise you, Lord. Obviously, this man named Jesus Christ is someone important. He changed history like no one else ever has or ever will. I promise you no one will ever do the things that Jesus has done and has continued to do and will do. Um, he is not just another teacher. He is not another prophet. He is God the Father in the flesh. He is God become flesh. Does that make sense? He is the Word of God. God became man to model for us how we are to live, how we are to treat others, how we are to serve. And even though Jesus ascended back into heaven in the Bible, his power is still very much alive today. And it lives in all true believers through the power of the Holy Spirit of God within each of us. And not only that, but Jesus is coming back very soon. Um, check out the book of Revelation. I, if you haven't really studied it, I would suggest um, starting to do that. Because, you know, I don't want to be one of those ones who's like, oh, it's the end times. The end times. But y'all, it's the end times. Um and when Jesus returns, he will retrieve his church, his bride, and we will then live with him for eternity in paradise. Hallelujah. I cannot wait for that day, Jesus. Please come soon. So today I challenge you guys, if you know Jesus and his power that lives in you, that is great. Embrace that and go to God in prayer and ask how you can use that power to better his kingdom. And if you're reading this today and you're like, I'm not sure if I have that power living in me, um, then that's totally okay and normal. I've been there. Um, but here's what I want to suggest to you today, that you get real with God, that you just humble yourself before him, that, that you let all your pride go, um, and you ask him to pour his spirit out on you today. We can have as much of him as we want. That's what his word says. In Jeremiah 29, 13, it says, You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. 
and God will see your desire and he will see your effort and reward you for it. As it says in Hebrews eleven six. he rewards those who diligently seek him. God wants all of his creation to come to know him and you are part of his creation. Despite what you may have heard from some religious leaders, Father God does not want anyone to go to hell. It wasn't even made for man. It was made for Satan and the fallen angels. But God loves us so much, y'all, that he wants us to have free will. So he lets us choose, you know, which path we want to take, heaven or hell, this world or him, good or bad, dark or light. And he already knows you better than you could ever know yourself. And he craves more intimacy with you today personal relationship. So if you don't already have that, please take the Lord God up on his offer of grace and of salvation today. If you do already have an intimate relationship with him, then I just suggest that you pray for him to go deeper with you. I mean, he will always respond positively to a prayer asking him to reveal himself more to you. You know, I ask him all the time, on a daily basis, Lord, here I am, feel me. I want to be a vessel fit for your use, Lord. Just feel me, less of me and more of you. God, God, guys, God is good. I'm getting tongue-tied today. But God is, he is good and he loves you. And he wants to fill you with his spirit and with his power. He has great plans for you. It is not by chance that you are listening to this video you know, it is, everything is divinely inspired, and, you know, God's plans will prosper. So, I just want to pray for you guys. Um, I love you guys, and I thank you for watching my video. Um, so please make sure that you like, and subscribe, and share, and all those things. Um, and if you have any suggestions on, like, things that you would like my video to be about, just maybe leave them in the comment section or something. Um, and I will check them out, and we'll see what we can do. So, um, Heavenly Father, holy is your name. I just pray for the one that is watching this through the screen right now. I pray that you just touch their life in a new way, Lord. I pray that you reveal yourself even more to them. Um, and if there's anyone that is watching this that does not know you as their Lord and Savior, I pray that they come to know you today. I love you, Lord, and I thank you for the opportunity to do this. Please bless every single person watching this. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 All right, guys. Well, God bless.